Hi guys, welcome to Get Curried. This is the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and today I bring Nargisi Kofta into your kitchen. Nargisi Kofta for the uninitiated is nothing but Indian version of scotch eggs. Scotch eggs are basically boiled eggs which are encased in either a potato mixture or a mince mixture. Today we are going to do the traditional Nargisi Kofta in which the eggs are encased in mince meat. So the first step is to begin with hard boiled eggs. So I'm putting some water to boil. Adding in a little bit of salt and what goes in next is washed eggs, placing them in water. Now for this we need hard boiled eggs but make sure you do not over boil them. When you over boil basically the yolk which is yellow in colour gets a ring which is grey in colour which is nothing but ferrous oxide which is poisonous. So make sure you boil eggs to perfection. 6 minutes to 7 minutes and you get perfect hard boiled eggs. Now by the time the eggs are boiling, let's chop an onion. Since these onions are going to be part of the meat mixture, we'll make sure these are chopped as finely as possible. Now that it's been 7 minutes, I'm removing these eggs and I'll be letting them to chill for some 7 to 8 minutes before we start peeling them. Now. Let's begin with making the mince mixture. So I have some meat mince, so I'm taking that in a bowl. Next goes in chopped onions, chopped chilies, ginger garlic paste, a little bit of garam masala, salt and a little bit of refined flour. Well now to this mixture, I'm adding in a little bit of egg, just whipping that a little and just dropping in a little bit of this. There we go. I'm going to retain this because I'm going to use this later. Now I'll start mixing this. Well, traditionally, you use mutton mince in this. But however, if you want, you can also use chicken. So that choice is ours. Now that the mince mixture is ready, let's check if the eggs have relatively cooled down. Well, we don't want it absolutely cool. So we can now start peeling these. Now that the eggs are boiled, peeled and ready and the mince is ready, I've placed some oil here on medium heat and this is for the koftas to fry. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking a little bit of this mixture, so I've taken like a large spoonful of this kofta mix, just pressing this a little and place this egg right in the centre and encase this entire thing. Well, if you want to make this encasing easier, you can just dip your hands in some water and just try and get all of this evenly together. Like this, we start making the other koftas. Now that these koftas are ready, now comes the frying part. So just dabbing a little bit of flour is because this now goes into the beaten egg. Remember I had asked you to keep that aside? So here is now this kofta going into this egg mixture and now this goes in the oil. So similarly, I'm going to fry the others. The Nargisi koftas have to be fried on a very low flame to begin with because you don't want them to initially just brown because what will happen is they will become nice and crisp on the outside and remain raw within. So keep doing it on a very low flame to begin with then we will increase the flame slightly and just make sure it becomes nice and golden brown on the outside. Now that these are fried and ready, I am transferring this onto a tissue paper which is now going to absorb all the excess oil. Now for the gravy, let's take in some oil. I'm using onion puree so that the gravy is nice and smooth. And the first thing that goes in is the puree. Next I'm adding in some ginger garlic paste. Next goes in tomato puree. Now that these tomatoes are cooking, we let them cook slightly more 
and next that goes in is some whipped curd and next I start adding in the masalas. So the first thing that goes in is some salt, garam masala powder, turmeric and red chilli powder. Give it a nice mix and we cook till the oil starts leaving the sides of the pan. Now that oil has released the sides of the pan, in goes the kofta. And a cup full of water. Now that this is ready, let's begin with the plating. And finally, what goes in is some coriander. So here you have the Nargisi Kofta ready. Do try it at home, do like, do subscribe, do spare a moment and also leave in a comment. And wait for what next the Bombay Chef gets into your kitchen.